Thank you so much for watching Landom Sea Goes There. Please subscribe and hit the like button and the bell notification button. Rawhide is an American Western TV series that starred Eric Fleming and Clint Eastwood, along with Paul Brenniger, Sheb Woolley, and John Ireland. It aired for eight seasons on CBS on Friday nights, before eventually moving to Tuesday nights. There were a total of 217 black and white episodes. It's very fondly remembered by so many for its theme, Rawhide. Being set in the 1860s, it portrays the challenges that were faced by the drovers of a cattle drive. Most episodes were introduced with a monologue by Gil Favor, who was played by Eric Fleming. He was the trail boss. In a typical rawhide story, the drovers would come upon people on the trail and involve themselves in other people's affairs usually encountering various corrupt individuals. Many times, one or more of the crew venture to a nearby town and encounter some trouble from crooked townsfolks or lawless politicians. Rowdy Yates, played by Clint Eastwood, was a young and at times impetuous in the early episodes, and Favor had to keep a tight rein on him. This series still remains one of the most beloved westerns of all time. The gritty action made Clint Eastwood a household name. The show finished its run in the first week of 1966. By that year, Clint Eastwood was a star of the small and big screen. The classic spaghetti westerns, A Fistful of Dollars from 64, For a Few Dollars More from 65, and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly from 1966 revolutionized the Western genre. To further capitalize on Eastwood's growing fame, Jolly Film, the studio behind A Fistful of Dollars, pieced together a couple of old episodes of Rawhide to make a movie. They labeled the flick The Magnificent Stranger which was the original shooting title for A Fistful of Dollars. Eastwood ended up suing him over this and had the 1967 film withdrawn. There's really no need for a wardrobe department when it comes to Clint Eastwood. To bookend his career as a cowboy, Eastwood wore his same Rowdy Yates boots in his 1992 masterpiece, Unforgiven. Now, eight seasons is a long time for a cattle drive, though technically the original drive reaches its destination in the middle of the third season. This series was a little bit darker than your average Western was. It dealt with heavy subject matter sometimes and also slipped into the occasional ghost tale. In the episode Incident at the Top of the World, Robert Culp famously guessed as a morphine addict. In 1961, when this was released, serious drug use was far from common on television. Episodes entitled Incident of the Murder Steer and Incident of the Haunted Hills venture into eerie territory, which was made even more effective by the black and white cinematography of that time. Now, you'll see just loads of soon-to-be famous faces that appear on the show. You'll see Bewitched star Elizabeth Montgomery in an episode that in this guest-starring role would foreshadow her gig as Miss Sundance. Star Trek crew members Leonard Nimoy and DeForest Kelly appear on the series, too. You'll also see sitcom legends like Buddy Ebsen, Barbara Eden, Alan Hale Jr., June Lockhart, Gavin McLeod, and tons of others. Clint Eastwood was kind of up to his old shenanigans, or at least the way he normally acted, on the set of any film, in the fact that he secretly had a child with one of the stunt women on the show. In 1989, the National Enquirer revealed that Eastwood and stunt woman Roxanne Tunis had a child together. At the time of the birth 
1964, Eastwood was married to his first spouse, Maggie Johnson. Filming for the first season of the show took place at Universal International Studios in Hollywood. The extensive railroad scenes in the third season were filmed in one month on the Sierra Railroad in California. The series had a grueling production schedule, being mostly weekly with a three to four month break between seasons. After the first season of 22 episodes, seasons two through seven were 30 episodes each. Often, the only way the lead actors could get a break was if they were said to be off on business. On rare occasions, the show featured a small number of the actors and some misfortune, maybe in a town, which would give the others time off. Paul Brenniger was a popular person on the show as he played Wishbone, and his beard was a hot topic too. He starred in more than 215 episodes as the bad-tempered cook. He was interviewed at one time in 1964, and he explained that before he grew his beard, many roles were really hard to come by. He would have to typically settle for small bit parts, such as a delivery boy or a bank clerk. And at the time, he didn't realize what a gimmick the beard would be. At one point, he shaved it off during the production, went into the production office, and no one recognized him. That beard was more than just a beard. It helped with the character of Wishbone, and it made him realize that he was destined to wear that beard from then on. Now, Clint Eastwood may be the face of Rawhide today, but that's mostly due to what he did in movies afterwards. For the first seven seasons, Eric Fleming was undeniably the star of this western. When Fleming was dropped from the series at the start of the eighth and final season, the cattle drive was over for all intents and purposes. When he was fired from the show as a cost-saving measure, the fan mail poured in, and these loyal viewers swore that they would never watch the show again. Even the boss of CBS hated the show so much without Fleming that he axed the series after seeing a single episode without the star. Eric Fleming ended up dying while shooting a film shortly after the series ended. While on location shooting in Peru, his canoe overturned and the actor perished in the rapids. Take a look back at this fascinating western. It's always a memory shaker. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll continue to chase the classics.